Well, I'm very much looking forward to being back in Sydney, which is not only the city of my youth, but um, also one of the most beautiful cities in the world, at least to me. Um, this conference you know, poses quite a few challenges. And the first one, I would say, is that we recover the sense that Bonhoeffer was one of the most creative theologians of the 20th century, who is still very pertinent to us today. We have to recover him from those who uh, thought that Bonhoeffer was just a resistor of Hitler. Um, the theme that I'm going to follow in my lectures is Bonhoeffer's worldly Christianity. And to understand this, we need to get beyond the partisan groups that read Bonhoeffer in their own partisan way. These might be the evangelicals on the one side or the liberal modernists on the other side. Bonhoeffer is not one of either of those. Now, we have to get beyond slogans, too. Um, his phrase, religionless Christianity, for example, has become a slogan in some people's minds. Uh, for example, those who say, oh, well, that's great because that's churchless Christianity. But, of course, that's not what Bonhoeffer was talking about. Um, though Bonhoeffer certainly opposed those types of Christianity, that sort of religion that was on the one hand irrelevant and on the other hand dangerous. And there are certain people in current political debates in the United States who fit that category and will remain unnamed. Uh, I'm going to explore one of this worldly Christianity. This is the positive project that he was trying to uh, develop in his prison letters. And one of his points was that Christianity is not uh, an otherworldly redemption cult. That faith in the resurrected Christ uh, sends Christians into the world in an entirely new and redeemed way to bring good news to the world and creative new possibilities into the world. Uh, so for Bonhoeffer, uh, the gospel liberates individuals, but also liberates peoples into uh, a new freedom which brings new possibilities of life in the world. These are some of the things that I think we need to address in the conference. I look forward to doing that very much.